Do you want to make this amazing little airplane that basically comes back to you every single time you throw it? Well, get set, here we go. We are going to be using some styrofoam plates. These are the basic styrofoam plates that you get from your dollar store. And I'm just going to use my exacto knife to cut out the rim out of that. Once you have that flat sheet, you want to cut out a rectangle. And the measurements will be provided in the description box, so check out the planner. Once you have your desired rectangle, you want to trace that onto three other styrofoam pieces. So you have a total of four identical pieces of rectangle. We need to have a curvature and that's going to act as the airfall shape for this model. This is a necessary step so don't neglect it, it's going to help you catch the air a lot better and help you get some lift. We are going to stick two pieces and attach a few popsicle sticks to support the mid section of the wing and these are the side plates that are going to stick up like so. And to ensure that we stick them a lot better, we are going to curve cut this area and that's going to allow you to have that dihedral. Be sure to keep an object underneath so that the curvature sits nice and even on both the plates. Let's now work on the horizontal and vertical stabilizer. Again, the measurements are provided in the description box, so yeah, just check out the planner. I'm just cutting these rudder which are going to move like so and it's not really necessary to have a boomerang version. This elevator is going to be the trick and using a very thin bead of glue I'm just going to stick that on. At this point I'm creating a little height for the wing that it's gonna sit on and this will also help us achieve an angle of attack. This angle of attack is very crucial so don't forget to have this as well. At this point, you're ready to stick the wing onto the fuselage, which is just a piece of barbecue stick. Once you attach the wing, you are also ready to attach the tail at the back. To support the wings, I'm gonna cut out two little pieces of barbecue sticks, which are just going to sit underneath the wing and support the fuselage, and that's gonna help prevent the wing from wiggling front and back. You do need some weight on the nose, so I just decided to have two screws. You can take pretty much anything to act as the nose weight. But it does take time to actually experiment and figure out which nose weight works best because sometimes you may have a tail heavy plane, in which cases you will need to add some more weight to the nose. To make the plane fly back to you, need to have a little bit of upward elevator. Shooting the plane this way will allow the elevator to pull the nose up and make the plane rotate and come back to you. <laughs> 